What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We are currently at Yokai Manor, examining the crime scene. We have met Detective Fulbright for the first time. Uh, we're examining the crime scene. I think I just said that. All right, let's take a look at what else we can find. Nothing much to see on this side. Maybe I should go check the other side. Okay, what about these weapons? This one's a spear, but what about this one? It looks like a giant pair of pliers. Looks like something a demon might use. Saw something like that in a manga once. Really? What are they used for? Oh, things like pinching through cheeks. Ew. That is gross. Pulling out tongues. Oh. Oh, dear. Stop, stop! Oh, you should see what they can do to a person's eyes. Ugh. Okay, okay, I get the idea. But I'm sure this thing is just a simple can opener or something like that. Demons eat canned food? I always wondered what they ate besides people. God, you got them. You're pretty morbid there, Apollo. Hmm, what else is there? Apparently we can't look at the trophies. Let's move around. Woo, wow, whole new perspective. Look at that. Apollo, what words come to mind when you watch that pendulum in there? Hmm, unsteady and uh, restless. That's a direct representation of your current state of mind. Wait, that was some kind of psychological test? My diagnosis, this strange case has made you anxious, causing you to lose your cool. You're actually not that far off the mark. Let's see, we saw the clock, chandelier. Let's look at this thing. It's a folding screen. I wonder what they were using it for. I read that the Japanese used to use these in drafty rooms, but they're just for show. You mean like, like my attorney's badge. <laughs> Poor Athena. That cop treating her like a child must have really bothered her. All right, what else we got? Ooh, a teacup. Show me the teacup. No, no. No, 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 no. Okay. We're running out of options here. I mean, we saw the spear, we saw the scary thingies. Hmm. There must be something we're missing. I don't know. Nice little window. Hey, this window's open. Or window opens. Of course it opens. It's a window. I mean, I guess high-rise buildings typically don't have windows that open. And outside we have ourselves a steep cliff. The window only opens about six inches, not wide enough for anyone to get in or out. Look, Apollo, there's something caught in the window frame. It looks like gold fur. What a pretty color. It must be from some kind of animal. Ugh. Wonder what it's doing here. Did Alderman QB have a pet fox? <gasps> Ooh, man, I'm getting these really weird hiccups. Mm. Okay, here we go. Golden fur added to the court record. Some fur that was found at the scene of the crime. It's long and soft. That appears to be from some sort of animal. Alright, what else we got? Ooh, what's this scary looking thing? Ooh, something shining on the left. We'll get to that later. Doesn't this Tanuki statue remind you of the manor's caretaker, Phineas Filch? This raccoon looking thing? Yeah, it does look like him. Ooh, I just got the best idea. We should knock it over. It might transform back into Mr. Filch. Mr. Filch is mischievous, but he's not magical, you know. Way to waste a brilliant idea, Apollo. Okay. This shiny thing. Clearly it wants me to see it. Hmm, what do we have here? Looks like a statue of the nine-tailed fox and ten Mataro battling it out. Eee! Careful, Apollo. It's got blood on it. Really? Hey, you're right. Wonder if it's the alderman's blood. How can you remain so calm after seeing all this blood? Well, this is the first I've seen something like this, so... You're no fun at all. At least act surprised or grossed out or something on my first case. I'm already a lawyer. You want me to be an actor, too? Fox and Demon statue added to the court record. Oh, I should have read it. Whoops. Ay, 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 ay. Ooh, ooh, that's good, fruit punch. My throat is starting to hurt. Okay, guess that about wraps it up. 
Now, if only we can get that detective to tell us what he knows. Hey, Apollo. Do you hear something? Hmm. I don't hear anything. Oh, right. Your hearing must not be as sensitive as mine. Um, what are you talking about? A whooshing sound, like wind rushing through a narrow strait. And the echo of someone's voice. In, in. In justice we trust. Ah! Ah, ah, ah! Something's got a sharp set of ears. That was the sound of my righteous voice reverberating through the air duct. I heard it through the air ducts? Yeah, check it out. But why would she hear you through there? Why don't we go to the diagram? As you can s oh, as you can see, the advent is connected to an air duct that leads out into the hallway. The wind must have rushed through there. I'm having a hard time keeping up with the Fulbright voice. And carry my monologue with, why am I, okay. I've tried, guys, I've tried. And carry my monologue with it straight to your ears. And what a unique monologue it was. I was just thinking. Maybe the killer made their escape through that air duct or something. Hey, 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 a cute theory, but I don't think so. The air duct in the hallway is low enough to climb into, that much is true. But as you can see, the vent in the ceiling is very high. Nine feet high, in fact. I highly doubt that there's any way to get up there without a ladder or something. And I don't see anything of the sort in this room, do you? Hmm, I guess you're right. Speaking of things in this room, yeah? Can you tell us what you guys turned up, Detective Fulbright? Not on my watch, buddy. In the name of justice, I cannot reveal facts pertaining to the prosecution's case. Oh, come on, throw us a bone here. Excuse me, Detective Fulbright, but I recall you saying earlier that you would come running whenever we were in need. Ooh, the investigation song, or whatever it's called. Ugh, I love this song. Boom, boom. You guys must be sick of me just uh, jamming out to this thing, but... Mm. That you would come running whenever we were in need. Oh, I suppose I did say that. Helping those in need is what justice is all about, but keeping information out of enemy hands is also a form, form of justice. Hmm. Uh, which justice is the most just? Why is this always so hard? Hmm. Well, how about this? Let's do a little give and take. I mean, serving the public is part of justice too, right? You know, like the police motto? To serve and protect. I doubt leaking information to the defense team falls under that mo motto. Motto. <laughs> yes, of course. I must serve and well as protect. Okay, I'll share some information. In the name of justice. We did it, Apollo. Yeah, we did it all right, but I'm not sure that was entirely ethical. Wow, quite a few things here, all right. Details of the case. Was it Miss Jinxie Tenma who first discovered the crime scene? That's right, and this photo shows what she saw when she opened the door. Brutal. Miss Tenma had a key allowing her immediate access. A key? So then the fox chamber was locked? Yes, and Miss Tenma had the only key to its door. Really? So Alderman QB didn't have a key to the fox chamber. Actually, he had a master key for most of the doors in the manor, but it disappeared after his murder. Disappeared? You think the killer took it? It could very well be connected to the murder. We're looking into the possibility now. But it's the timing of Miss Tenma's discovery that I think is most important. Of course, I'm not going to share that information with you. <laughs> you think you're some kind of champion of justice? You're just a plain old mean. You just, oh, plain old mean, sorry. I hit my head against the damn mic again. I won't fall for that, you shameless rascal. I only help good little boys and girls. Shameless rascal? Who even says that? Well, I wouldn't exactly call you a good little girl either. Crime photo added to the court record. A crime photo, oh, a photo of the fox chamber. There are bloody footprints and black feathers scattered on top of the blood. 
But if you look at the evidence, his head's bashed in, so... I don't understand why they would think it's Tenma. The, I mean, the key's missing. Feathers and tracks. Those feathers and tracks look like something a yokai might leave behind. You don't actually think the murder was some sort of monster, do you? What's the name of that creature in the Forbidden Chamber? Tenma something? Because from the black feathers and big tracks, it looks like that creature did it. Our prime suspect would no doubt love to pin the blame on some imaginary creature. Can Tenmo, whatchamacallit, even be a victim of slander? I doubt the mayor would do something as childish as blaming a boogeyman. So the most likely scenario so far is... That Tenma guy left the feathers and tracks behind. To make it look like Yokai Tenma was the killer. Wait, what? Now I'm as confused as you. At any rate, I doubt Mayor Tenma would plant evidence like that. Suspects. So Mayor Tenma is your only suspect. That's right, even his name, Damien Tenma, makes him sound like a villain. And he's really scary looking too. Wait, are you telling me that's why he was arrested? Eh, 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 don't be ridiculous. He was the only one without an alibi. Oh, is that so? Yep. Other than the victim, the suspect, and Miss Tenma, the only other ones around were... Mr. Filch and Mayor Tenma's aide, and the two of them were together at the time. Filch, the guy who tried to steal my bracelet. Just living up to his name, I guess. We should go talk to him again when we have a chance. What about Jinxie? She's not being suspected at all. Let me get some more fruit punch. Ugh. Mm. Woo! Okay, what about Jinxie? She's not being suspected at all. She may have no alibi whatsoever, but she also has no motive. It's unfathomable that she would murder the ultimate and pin the crime on her father. Besides, do you really think a little girl could lift up this huge spear? Okay. True enough, that spear looks even bigger than her. That's about all I can reveal at this time. Well, you must admit, Damien Tenma appears to be the most likely suspect. I admit it looks bad, but I'm still not buying it. Oh, and one more thing. I must warn you about the prosecutor. The prosecutor assigned to Mayor Tenma's trial. That's the one! He's how I should I put it. Not what you'd expect. That is unless you face the convicted killer serving hard time as a prosecutor before. What the? Is this some kind of joke? Who is it? Can I ask why a man in prison for murder is serving as a prosecutor? Because he's mastered the use of psychology in courtroom battles. Everyone's talking about how this murder was the work of some strange creature. But yokai are nothing more than a figment of the imagination. They're a baloney. Who better to prove this than a master of psychology? He's the best man for the job. But he's a convicted murderer. No matter how you look at it, that's just insane. Well, the chief prosecutor personally assigned him, so... None of us are in a position to question the matter. Hey, 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 This really is the dark age of the law. Who's the chief prosecutor? Hmm. This prosecutor, he wouldn't happen to go by the name Black Quill, would he? Bingo! Simon Blackwill. So you have heard of him. You could say that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I bet you don't know his unofficial title. Ever heard of the Twisted Samurai? That That's Prosecutor Blackwill. The Twisted Samurai. Is that because he's a criminal? Well, yes and no. You could say it also has to do with the effect his crime had on things. How so? His conviction is what twisted and warped the legal world into this dark age of law. What? And he of all people is going to stand in court tomorrow. Ah, 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 never fear. I myself will be there to protect you. That's reassuring, I guess. Well, you kids knock yourselves out. Can't wait to see how you do tomorrow. Thanks, buddy. Wait. Detective Fulbright, I've been meaning to ask you something. Um... Why are you barefoot? This doesn't look like the sort of place where you need to take your shoes off. Oh my god, Phil stole his shoes, huh? 
Hmm. Ah! I hadn't even noticed. Why am I barefoot? You honestly hadn't noticed until just now. Wait a second. Those shoes we found earlier. Excuse me, Detective Fulbright. These would never be your shoes, would they? Yes, they are. My favorite pair, in fact. Thank you for bringing them to me. You must truly be on the side of justice. Don't tell me Mr. Filch actually stole from a detective. Stealing shoes right off of someone's feet. That's pretty amazing. I find it more amazing that Detective Fulbright didn't notice. It is pretty amazing. Well, it looks like we've gotten all we can out of the detective, so let's see. Maybe we should go have a word with Mr. Filch. I want to hear what his alibi is. QB Manor! Foyer! This is just not. What voice did I give this guy? Hmm. Terrible, I see! Somebody help! I don't think that was the voice I gave him, but I'm sorry. Oh, look, it's Mr. What was it again? Finch? No, 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 the name's Filch! Phineas Filch! Keep on pilfering and you may wind up a jailbird instead. So, what seems to be the problem, Mr. Filch? Oh, it's just terrible, terrible, I tell you. Come quick. Okay, what's the deal with him all of a sudden? Ooh. Ooh. Looks like some kind of mask. It's the Amazing Nine Tails mask. The Amazing Nine Tails. Okay, my voice is... Breathe. Deep breath. Focus. Oh, right, the wrestler who appeared during that festival special event. What's his mask doing here? He'd never take off his mask like this. Someone must have killed him. What? Who would do such a thing? Let's go talk over there in private. Hmm, look. There's some white hair caught up inside this mask. Amazing Ninetales mask add to the court record. It's so incredibly obvious that the mask was thrown out the window of the crime scene because we found that little bit of hair. And the white hair may even prove that it was obviously the, um, the victim's hair. Let's see. A mask that washed up by the riverside? That's white hair inside. What's he doing? So, what makes you believe that the Amazing Ninetales has been murdered? You really want to know, eh? You're a studious one, ain't you? Yeah! Yes, I mean no, or I mean just tell me, please. Well, it's like this. I dream of becoming a wrestler myself. How about you join me in the quest for the champion's belt? What a team me and my bandage mask and you in that demon mask of yours. Demon mask? Hehe, <laughs> wonder if I could make it big. Oh, it's exhausting doing his voice. I'm not, it's, I'm just combining like 10 different voices. Apollo, let's save your pro wrestling debut until after the trial. Huh? Oh, no, 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 it wasn't actually. Arr, why did I let him pull me off topic like that? Come on, Apollo, ask him about the amazing Ninetales murder already. You know what? It's been 18 and a half minutes. Let's leave this video for tomorrow. Thanks all for watching. I love you all. And stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode. Thanks for watching and bye! So Saren is antivirus. Oh. 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 Uh, okay. Hmm. This is a lovely hall of death. Intrusion oh. has detected. Initiate in quarantine. Okay. Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna make it.